Now we can create this kind of high quality landing pages within just seconds. This is one of the best open source library of landing page designs for Next.js projects. This is the shared CN templates library and the main difference between this templates library and any other open source templates library is this templates library not only has these different individual UI components and individual UI sections but it does have some fully finished landing page designs something like this design something like this design something like this amazing design so all of these designs are available on this templates library that you can use absolutely for free i found this library from this ras mike video so you can go to his channel and subscribe so in this video i'll guide you that how you can use these ui templates inside your next.js projects the process is very simple you can simply just run this one single command so let's suppose if you want to import this particular landing page you can simply just run this command and if you want to import this particular one you can simply just run this command but once you run this command inside your code editor this will not not be that simple so it will need to download a lot of packages by default once you run this, that command it will show you errors because it will need a lot of packages to be installed to make sure that that template will be displayed as it is also once you run that command so let's suppose this command once you run this command so it will download all of the components in this components folder so this is the components folder and in this components folder it will run this motion primitives and then there is ui section this ui component then there is hero section hero 5 header logo theme provider theme toggle and all of these are different components of this particular template so it will import all of those inside this components folder after that now you're actually required to import these components into your page so let's suppose if you have a home page so by default this is the page.tsx page that i have inside my source slash app directory so this is my home page which is page.tsx so in here you can see i have imported that hero section component from this components directory after that you can see i'm importing this hero component in here but let's suppose if you are not a programmer and if you don't want to like deal with code at all you're just like wipe coding so you are not required to like deal with code at all so let's suppose in that case so what we're gonna do i'm going to share like a shortest way to do that so we are actually going to ask cursor agent to run all of the commands for us so i have just set up a, an empty next.js project for us and i'm actually going to import those components in front of you and then i'm, I'm actually going to display those components on the on the home page or on landing page or wherever you want to display that but before that let's just explore these different components that this design has to offer so other than these different hero components there are these different like let's suppose features component so this is the features component you can show that use that in on your website then there is contents component you can use this as it is so let's suppose if there is a section on your website we are showing an image on this side and then text on this side there is a title on this side so you can do that on on your website there are these variety of different designs that you can actually use similarly there are stats there is a team section as well there is a testimonial section then there is a call to action section as well so then there is a footer component similarly there is a pricing component so yeah you can just like explore all of these different components but yeah let's just import this hero section one of these sections let's suppose just import the first one and the process is absolutely similar for all of these so you can simply just copy this command from here and one way is we can just like run it yourself do it manually then we need to do routing and importing manually but if you don't want to like do that if you don't wanna like deal with code at all so let's just set up an empty next.js project to set up an empty next.js project you can simply just run this command which is npx create next app at latest just run this command and after that once it is done and installed after that just go to your chatbot inside cursor so i'm using cursor you can use windsurf you can use any other AI code editor so after that simply just paste that command in here i have just opened this my speech to text functionality this is a default windows speech to text functionality you can just open that by simply running windows key plus hq on your keyboard press enter i want to import this component into my project i have set up an empty next.js project and i want to display this component on my default page tsx page after that simply just press enter and hopefully cursor agent can actually take care of all of the rest of the stuff so now first of all it will just run this command and once it will run this, that command it will import the components library in here so now it is asking us to continue i'll just press y so let's just let me just scroll it this side i'll just press y and now it will start importing these components so it is asking me with these different options neutral i'll just click on that neutral use force after that now you can see it has started importing these components 
right now it is installing all of the dependencies which are required these are the different component files that it has created inside this components directory so one file is hero section dot tsx then there is a logo dot tsx you can import these individual components inside your project separately on any page so let's suppose once you have imported these components inside your components library now if you want to like import that let's suppose not on a home page on any other page of your website you can totally do that so right now it is asking to run this project i'll just simply just click on this pnpm run dev and after that i think there is still this one problem that we need to resolve that one problem so there is no export I exported member hero section all right so let's just open this first and see how it looks like this will definitely show error first of all so we're gonna just copy that error and then paste that inside cursor all right so this is the error that it is showing simply just copy this error from here and come back to cursor paste that error in here press enter and now it should be able to fix that error it is just checking that hero section dot tsx file to see what imports it is trying to use and after that there are few files there are few uh, fixes that it is going to make so all you have to do because you have now shared the error that you are facing so let's suppose we are doing a wipe coding that is a new fashion these days so just share everything any single every single error that you are facing during import simply just like share that error with your cursor agent and cursor will deal with everything you are not required to like i know like if i'm doing it manually i'll just literally do it in less than one minute but if i'm doing it using cursor AI agent in this particular scenario it will take me more time it will it, it might take me just like five minutes but if i'm doing it manually i can easily do it in one to two minutes i know like i will have to call it i, I know we have to import it and then i know like what libraries will be required for this so cursor is right now i think importing this motion library so it has just run that command it is now just importing this this react library actually all right it has apparently fixed that error and now our project is running let me just click on this localhost url and let me just open that and see if our project is running or not so there is an error there is still an error i'll just copy this error come back paste that error in here and that's it so yeah this is the laziest way of doing things but yeah this is what people like these days people don't want to use their brains so that's cool that's fine i mean it's, it's good to do web coding if you are let's suppose developing something um if you don't have coding knowledge or coding experience and that's what this channel is all about that if you don't have a coding knowledge you're not required to write syntax of the code so yeah okay so the right word is using this port which is 303 let me just open that and that's it fantastic it has now imported that but this is the the bright mode we need to enable the dark mode so it has just imported that so now it is showing that all of the errors are removed but we just need to enable the the dark mode please create a toggle to enable and disable the bright mode currently we are showing the bright mode only i want to show the dark mode as well just press enter press send and now it should like start creating that any required components and files for that dark mode all right it is creating a new theme toggle component we don't need that component particularly for that toggle option but we just like are having it as an option that if you want to like have a bright mode and dark mode uh do you, do you want to like switch between bright mode and dark mode you can do that so now it is importing this framer motion library so let's just import all right it has just finished updating that dark mode thing and now you can see our dark mode is ready and it is looking perfectly fine even it has imported that image as well so everything is looking fine as you can see when i scroll down so this header section actually it reduces size there's a nice little animation which is looking really really amazing so yeah you can just like build this kind of like amazing landing pages using this templates library just go to this link and explore more about this templates library and you can also visit their github repository you can leave a star in here there are these two contributors just show them love so yeah this is a quick way of creating some high quality landing pages using this templates library you can import all of these components this is absolutely free to use and if you have any further questions just leave a comment in comment section I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.